Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. I am so honored to be sitting in the presence of royalty this morning. We have Miss Arizona, Faith Fair is here with us today. Faith, so, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, so nice to see you again, Lexi. I know, it's great <laughs> to see you. And I will say really quickly that I have followed your pageant journey for a long time now, and I am so excited for you. So congratulations Thank you. on winning this amazing title. Tell me, before we get into it, tell me a little bit about kind of the process and how you prepared for this pageant, because it's a big, it's a big preparation. Yeah, so once I won Miss Arizona back in, I think it was November, mm -hmm. um, I honestly just started doing as much volunteering charity work as I possibly could, just That's because great. I wanted to really get into to the community and try to make a difference in as many organizations as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. Obviously with that and going to nationals, I wanted to be bikini ready. Yes. So I was working out all the time, um, switched my eating habits and just such a better healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's crazy as we get older, like our bodies are changing so much. And so those fast foods that you were eating every single day can't in do college, anymore. you can't do that anymore. <laughs> so healthy foods, um, I got with Scott's training system, my uh, personal trainer who's been helping me and yeah, just trying to get headspace ready for the pageant and really just trying to make a difference in the community before I go to nationals to hopefully win the title of United States of America's Ooh, Miss yes. and help represent the USA. Well, we're all rooting for you for sure. And it sounds like what's so great about these pageants is that it really, really helps you work on yourself and work in your community, which is so great. So on that note, tell me about your platforms. Yeah, so I my platform is Hope for Veterans. So mm -hmm. I grew up an army brat. My grandfathers, my dad, my brother, they were all in the military, either Navy or Army. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I grew up with, you know, my dad was gone for holidays. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, my brother went over overseas and mm -hmm. you know just the thought of the unknown and then when they come back and they finish their career in the military um, you know it can go one of two ways you can end up completely fine get back into civilian life or a lot of our veterans end up homeless on the street. It streets. can be tough yeah absolutely. So something that I've been trying to do um, with my Hope for Veterans platform is I make these hope bags. So I pack in bare essentials and when I'm out driving, I pass them out to our homeless veterans that I see uh, on the streets. Wow. So that's just one way, but when I go to nationals um, and win the title of Miss, yes. I would love to collaborate with all of my sisters across the nation and get it get hope bags into every single state because there are so many homeless veterans across the United States and Absolutely. it's just it's just really sad. I feel like one homeless veteran is too many homeless veterans. I agree and it's yes, like you said, it's not just an Arizona a problem it's it's across the United States and that's an amazing goal to have I absolutely love that so you said nationals are coming up so tell me a little bit about what you're doing to prepare how you feel about it yes. are you nervous are you excited both I honestly as it gets closer I'm getting nervous but overall I'm just really excited mm -hmm. so we have um, the first time ever I'll be competing in patriotic wear so I'm actually having a designer design my patriotic costume and she sent me That's proofs the amazing. other day and it looks so amazing so I'm excited for that and then obviously interview is a portion so mm -hmm. I'm really happy that I get to talk about my platform and different mm. things that I've been doing throughout the community um, and then swimwear, evening gown, and then if I make it into the finals, on stage questions. So yes. I'm really excited. It's just been such a great journey so far. And like I said, the community has been great coming together and helping me out. So it's yes. been a great time so far. I love it. Well, we so, so, so support you. And I have to know, give me just like a little like tease. Like what does your evening gown look like? So I won't say the color, but there is a bunch of Gl uh, glitz all over it. Ooh, yes. okay. Yes. So you're gonna you're gonna dazzle everybody. Dazzle on the stage. I yes. I love it. And then one thing I did want to mention that starting today till next Saturday, I'm doing a clothing drive for Hope Women's Center. So at Scott's Training Systems and um, Velocity Style Bar, there will be two boxes set up. So clean out your closet, bring your clothes, men, women, babies, everybody. Bring your clothes so we can donate to Hope Women's Center. That's amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Faith. And uh, tell me really quickly your Instagram so people can follow yes, you. Yes, it's at Faith Ferris, F-A-I-T-H, P-H-A-R-E-S, or USOA, Miss Arizona. I love it. Well, we will be watching. We are so excited. We are rooting Thank for you. you. Next time we see you, I'm sure you will be a winner again. Thank Congratulations. You. Yay, I'm so excited for you.